Hello humans, this is Random Guy and welcome to the Random Channel. Today we're going to be reviewing another anime and this time we have Isekai Quartet. The show is uh, very different from what you, you know, would normally accept, expect from, uh, you know, typical anime. The story of the show is basically they make, uh, you know, a school going type Isekai world and then they put characters from various other mainstream famous and good shows into that one show like Overlord, Tanya the Evil, Konosuba, Ray Zero. Now I love Overlord, Tanya the Evil and Ray Zero. All of all three of these shows are just exceptionally good. Konosuba is alright. I don't know if I like it all that much, but um, still it fits in this world. I mean even in this world it's kinda it's kinda different from the other shows, so it's a bit awkward. But other than that, let's uh, go over the pros and cons of the show. I think uh, the show is funny to some extent. I mean, it tries to be a lot more funny than you you know it is. You can tell that they're really trying to make it funny, but it's not that funny. But it's still funny, so I would say it's 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 a good point for it. And everyone is not in their you know usual shade. You know, you their usual um, artwork, the their chibified version of themselves. So that adds to the you know cute and funny aspect of the thing. And this also makes the animation easier compared to, you know, all the shading and everything that goes into normal animation. Uh, the characters work together. Uh, that's something that, you know, you would not expect from something like this. Because, uh, you know, some sh every show has their own separate uh, thing to them, a theme to them. You can't just put two characters from completely separate shows into a single show and hope them to work together. Like it, it, it sometimes it doesn't even work in Dojin Cheese. Like Dojin Cheese are just the staple of you know uh, taking different characters from different shows and putting them into one little you know sex story. But uh, uh, even then, they they sometimes don't tend to work. But in this one, I think the characters go really well together. Their interactions when they talk to each other and they find out that they're all from Earth for various reasons. So uh, that's something. Is always uh, fun the interactions that is also interaction between other characters as they have their own prejudices like uh, uh, all the girls from uh, all the various girls from uh, the different shows uh, they have their different aspect like uh, Emilia she's still trying to be you know all um, you know cute and like uh, she's a nice girl type thing and uh, other than that we have. Uh, Albedo, Albedo really don't like humans, so her interactions with other tend to be a bit more forced, so as to speak. Um, other than that, we have the cons of the show. The power scaling is absurd. Like you know, uh, there's a limit to how much you know you can change power over um, from one show to another. Like uh, uh, Aqua from uh, what is that? Akonosuba. Uh, she can use purification to kill the undead, right? So her purification affects ions. Like th that show does not make it look like her uh, power would be anywhere close to ions, but the the power is increased in the show, and they tell say that as well that her power is increased of purification. That is, but I personally don't like it because it just feels absurd and kills the fucking mood between the characters. I was thinking like. Okay, Ainz is the strongest. It, she probably, he probably is uh, amongst all the characters that are shown in the show. But it just feels a bit, you know, different to uh, the way it works. And this, so that's something that I don't really like. The power scaling is all over the place and that kills the fucking mood to some extent. Because you are expecting Ainz to be all cool and powerful and Tanya to be all, uh, you know, with her power as well. But they show that they show that shit and it's like pretty good, but it's still not just there. Other than that, uh, it just feels like a you know like a filler, like a side story, spin-off sort of thing. Uh, it's supposed to be a you know big thing, because when I heard about it, I was like, damn! Like I literally have I hadn't watched Ray Zero. I watched that show specifically for. Uh, <coughs> I watched that show specifically for uh, this this fucking show. When I heard that a uh, show was coming out with all the characters from various shows coming together, I was like, you know what? Let's watch Ray Zero so I can actually watch this one. 
and it wasn't you know it didn't live up to the expectations so as to speak so that's a pretty big con in my opinion because it's not very it's not a very good spin off Uh, the second season is going to be coming out in 2020 and they will be introducing new shows and different characters as they uh, you know hinted at at the end of the fucking show um so i hope some shows like danmachi or how to how not to summon a demon lord and some some of these shows like the slime one these shows make into this one because that would be you know interesting would make it more interesting i hope they also expand the world it just feels absurd because all the characters are stuck in like one school doing school activities so that's a bit extreme i mean mundane more like not extreme um so that's why because it's a tad bit boring and it's a little bit mundane i'm going to give it 7 out of 10 in this you know cheesyfied funny cute comedy genre but i i don't think it deserves any more than that i also don't think it deserves any less than that the show was actually still pretty damn fun and i was looking forward to the next episode that was going to come out at this point i think all the episodes are out and yeah that's that so thank you so much for watching uh, leave a like and comment whatever you want to comment and subscribe uh, there's a link down in the description to my twitter go follow me there there's also a link to my dtb account where i play hentai games i haven't been playing lately but you know we i have a few videos up at the moment so you can go check those out so Bye bye